Hello channel friends, this is DopeCup38 and before we get going on today's video I wanted to give a special shout out and a really big thank you to Juan at the local uh, Walmart. He helped me pick out this Gerber and believe me it was a uh, not an ordeal but he was very thorough and made sure I understood all the pluses and, and a few minuses on these multi-tools because believe me when I got ready to take a look at a few of them I knew not a whole lot almost zip about the different ones but he was very patient went over them with me showed me the Leatherman the Gerber and a couple of other ones that they had and let me tell you he was more than uh, helpful for myself and a few other customers as a matter of fact they were there looking around in the uh, sporting goods department so without further ado I want to give another big thank you to Juan at the local Walmart did a A plus job and on that note let's set it down let's get ready for the video and we're going hello channel friends this is WCOP38 and on today's show I'm bringing you an item I picked up for carry not on my person but in my vehicle and it's something that you definitely don't want to be without and this is a Gerber 1471 suspension butterfly opening multi-tool with a little sheath now this is a kind of a standard sheath it's ballistic nylon it's got a loop on the back in case you want to carry it on your belt now this I'll tell you right now is not very lightweight all together with the pouch it's 9.6 ounces and the multi-tool by itself is 9 ounces so I'll let me set the sheath off to the side and we'll go over a few things for you. Okay, first off, it's stainless on the handle. It's got skeletonizing so that it reduces a certain amount of the weight even though they didn't really reduce it a whole lot. See the tools that are inside of it? Now it's got 12 components and it does a pretty decent little job now what are you going to use it for well in your car you never know what can come up and what can go wrong now it's a choice have something like this or carry a small toolbox and personally I would keep this maybe another pair of pliers definitely some duct tape you never know if you're going to need that things like that for in your car but this is really nice you can take and toss it in your glove box or in the back of the car where it'll be readily handy now let's go over some of the components okay first off let's get her open here now they got little tabs on them that make them really easy to open here's this one this is your serrated knife and this is relatively sharp it's not extremely sharp due to the the cost the cost of this thing they had it at Walmart and it was reduced down to about twenty seven dollars so it was a pretty good price now these do lock in place you can't can't move it at all they have this locking device they call it a uh, safety plus locking mechanism right here and what it is you have to grab this side and this side and you hold them and you pull them down at the same time and that releases whatever tool you're working with they all lock out okay there's this one okay I'm gonna release it now let's see what else we got here let's let's bring them all out and show them to you we'll put them back in one at a time that's really neat and I'm gonna go over that one with you you know what that is? you know what it is? it's a mini lanyard ring what's it for? well if you can tie things to it you could actually suspend this thing if you really need to and let's get the last thing out these are the scissors one of the 12 items that they talk about so let's see here get this back out there we go now that's all everything on this side so let's go we'll start with the scissors they're relatively sharp 
They are spring loaded. Tried it on a little bit of paper. It did a pretty decent job. Of course, like anything else on the multi tool, they fold down flat. So that's it for the scissors. They do do a pretty good job. As you can see, they have a little uh, little tip here to, for catching with your fingernail for bringing it out. So let's put this one back. Like I said, this is the lanyard ring. You gotta actually pay attention because when I first got it, I go, where in the heck did they hide the lanyard ring? Well, when it's folded down against the scissors, you have to look pretty close to see it. Uh, that's it for that one. That's the lanyard ring. Next, gonna release it here. It's a fine, fine, fine tip screwdriver. Uh, is it heavy duty enough to repair an entire car? No, you know, that's not what this tool is designed for. This is for a stopgap measure to get something minor done, whether it's uh, tighten up a small screw or loosen something up, anything that can go wrong in your vehicle or even with something you're doing on your person that you would need a very small screwdriver for. Kind of a nice little utility tool. Let's fold that one down. Next, we have a can opener. Now there's two parts to it. Down here you have a bottle opener. Up here the can opener. Now this works kind of like a church key and it is sharp enough to uh, open a can. I, I didn't use this one but I'd seen another one and I tried that. Uh, it's actually at the store and I told the guy, you know, I'm not buying this if it won't open a can right now. So what does he do? He pulls out a, a can, he takes one, another one of these off the shelf, opens it up, lickety split. Definitely did the job. Let me give you a little close up here. Very nice little can opener. It doesn't look like it's that sharp, but believe me it is. Okay, we'll lock this one down. There you go. Now, serrated knife. Let's see if we can get it back in focus. There we go. Very, very handy and extremely sharp. I tried this uh, before I went on camera here and it does an excellent job of doing uh, minor cutting. You know, it's, it's not a saw and if you need a saw, you're not going to be using this. This is primarily for light duty things, doing some minor cutting. Okay, now this is down, release it. Fold it over. Now let's get the other side open. Here we have flat blade knife. And we'll get out the rest of the tools. Pretty cool, huh? And saw. Okay, let's go with the saw first. This is a small, very fine, and believe me, this is very sharp. I tried it uh, with a, what I did, I used the uh, demo one that they had at the store. So I put it through the paces while I was there. And uh, it worked with me pretty good. And this thing can do some serious cutting. It doesn't look like it does, but believe me, this thing gets down if you need to do it. Now it's not going to saw down a tree, don't get me wrong. But it, it'll do some minor sawing and it does a good, decent job. You know, in a tool that was only twenty-seven dollars, this this does a lot of things that you're going to wind up needing. Now, this is their version of a Phillips head screwdriver. It is very narrow, so I don't know how much Phillips head screws that you're how many screws you're going to actually get turned with this thing because it is quite quite tiny, quite narrow gauge. I would, if I was going to use it in my car, it would be something for very light duty, like just tightening up a loose screw on the console or something like that, something very, very minor. None of these tools that are on this, I want to remind you, are for heavy duty work. That's what you would keep a small toolbox for if your car ever needs something like that. But this is just for kind of getting you out of a little bit of trouble or if you're camping or something like that 
it, it can get the job done. Okay, let's fold that one down. And each one of these has this little tip for grabbing them with your with your fingernail. Okay, the next tool is a larger flat blade screwdriver, and this one does work quite well as a matter of fact. I did try it when I was at the store. I levered it with a few things on their on their demo one that they had. And it did a pretty decent job. Once again, it's got the little hook here for putting your fingernail into. And it did it did a really, really decent job. Okay, that's it for that one. Okay. Now here's the flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to show you something. This is sharp as all get out. I don't have a anything to cut for you right now, but the blade is sharp. I can peel the skin off on my thumb if I'm not careful. Now, one reason that I've, I've got it locked back is I want to show you this safety lock mechanism that they have. They call it the one they call Safety Plus. When you pull down, then it releases the blade. And you can hear it snap into place. See that? You know, it's not too tight, but it's not going to flop down. Now one thing I do want to show you is see, see the markings on the uh, side of the body? That actually shows you what tool you're accessing. Right here, see that one? That's for this. Pretty neat. Now I'm going to fold it down. Now the most important part, of course, is the uh, pliers. Let's open it up. And this has some really substantial pliers on this dude. Now they are spring-loaded. And it's a nice little spring. It's the, I don't like the ones where you have to work it back and forth. They're just not very uh, handy, not to me. Now it does come with a wire stripper and a wire cutter. Now I tried it over there and it'll strip wire really well but I wouldn't want to cut anything too heavy. I definitely wouldn't want to use them to cut metal. I believe it's primarily for just clipping wire and maybe small items but it's not going to go through a small nail or anything like that. It's, that's not what it's designed for. But it's a very useful very nice little tool. The pliers have very aggressive teeth on them. You know, the, the pliers are really where they put quite a bit of quality into it when they made this little tool. On the nose, got nice uh, serrations there. It's very, very grippy. You can't really, it doesn't do it too much justice on the camera as far as how much. Uh, grip that it's actually got. But those teeth are very, very nice. I'll show you the other side here. And for 25 bucks, let me show you something else. This is what you get when you have 25 bucks. See the gap? That's that's where the cost cutting comes in. Not quite perfect, where you get a perfectly flat uh, contact between the uh, the pli needle nose plier tips so then that's where you get the the, uh, the less of a quality for lack of a better words that's where they save up their money it's not not as good as some of the eighty ninety dollar ones but then like I said this is twenty five bucks but it's still going to get the job done if you need to needle nose something this will be able to do it and if you need to grab something pretty good and twist it or break it, it's going to do the job really, really well. Like I said, this is a Gerber multi-tool. I, I definitely recommend it for putting it in your car. It folds down nicely. It's a little bit to the heavy side for EDC. It is quite large. It's four inches long. So, mmm... I don't know about on the having it on the waistband. Hard to say for sure. There you see the suspension Gerber. 
Well friends, I hope you enjoyed this. This is a little addition that's definitely going in the glove box of my car along with other other items I've shown you before, the the flashlights and first aid kit and things like that that you you do keep a first aid kit in your car. Have we gone over that yet? That's going to be one of my new videos coming up. First aid kit in your car. What do you need to have? It'll be coming up. Well, anyway, this is W Copen 38. Hope you enjoyed this. Give me any comments, other recommendations for these tools. I've seen on some of the other channels where they have just gobs of multi tools. And if there's anyone that you want to see in particular that I can get my hands on and do a little demonstration, I'll be glad to. Well, friends, this is W. Copen 38 saying I'll be back with a lot more for you.